If you saw in the New York situation, they're going to grab the individual okay. immediately around the neck. Okay. And if you saw in the New York situation, they pulled him down, which I can, he did. I can feel a loss of balance here, but I can also feel the pressure against right. my neck. This is this right here is called the bar hold. This is the bar hold. Right. Here you can break my trachea? Well, here, you, depending on the amount of pressure that can be applied, you could. To get an even better understanding, I asked a police officer trained by more than one Southern California department about these holds. He didn't want to be seen or heard on camera, but as he applied the bar hold control, the bone in his forearm pressed against my trachea. And I feel this right up against here. The arm was locked in. I tapped him twice when I had too much. The hold against the carotid artery in the neck is different. The crook of the arm becomes a vice. There's pressure from the bicep and the forearm. Terrell says the idea of the hold is to disarm a suspect. And you're trying to bring, again, using the pressure on the neck, and again, try to get the individual to lose his balance.